Hello everyone and welcome to a new video and in this video we are featuring the match highlight of the semi-final one of the ICC Women's World Cup 2022 and the match is played between Team Australia Women's Team and West Indies Women's Team and the update about the toss is that West Indies Women's Team have won the toss and they have elected to field first in the first semi-final of the ICC Women's World Cup 2022. Hi Ness and Australia are underway and here comes the first boundary over pitch outside off. She just leans into it to execute this square drive first four of the semi-final. Easy peasy shot on the hips and Hannes swills and pulled to the final leg for one more four. Over pitched outside off driven through the covers for one more boundary. Second boundary in the over shot and on the body Hannes pulls it just past the diving shot final leg fielder for one more four. And here comes another boundary, one more four. Is that the release shot? Healy charges down and get a juicy full toss. Clears mid on easily and trickles away to the rope. Mohammad having trouble skipping the ball. Due to the wetness that's gone for four run. Healy on the charge dances down almost as soon as Mohammad delivered that. Takes it on the full and drive it past the mid off for one more four. Classical assault. Flighted ball outside off highness. Slink down and hit it over the bowler's head for four more run. Fuller on off this time, Healy paddles it to the fine leg. Nation fails to stop it to the deep and it goes through her despite the dive and that's gone for 4 more run. Streaky but the desired result for Healy floated up on the length outside of she goes over and paddle again. Get it to the off the glove over the wicket keeper for her second 4 in the over. Streaky but desired result for Healy and that's floated up on a good length outside of. She goes for the paddle again. Get it of the glove over the wicket keeper for her second four in the over shot and Healy put it away on the hip. She shot and away wide of the deep backward square leg for four run shot to Highness and she picks a boundary. Poor bowling this Highness pulls over the square leg empire and no chance for the fielder in the deep with on for one more four. Poor bowling again full toss sliding into the pads. Healy swing it away to the deep backward square fence and another boundary. Too full outside off and Healy gets forward to drive wide of the cover it races away and that's gone for one more four. One more boundary for Healy and also for the Australia full toss sliding into the pad Healy swing it away to the deep backward square like for four run two full outside off and Healy gets forward to drive wide of the cover it races away for one more four that is such a good shot. So quick to pick the length up on a good length and Haynes rock backs and pull it to the boundary for one more four. That is such a good shot and that's gone for one more four. So quick to pick the length up on a good length and Haynes rock back and pull over the mid wicket tremendous shot. The attempted slower ball slide down the leg as full toss helped away fine by Healy and it find the fence at fine leg it's 18 run from the over. Great batting Healy take the full ball on the pads and river sweep. Wide of the backward point all around the ground and that's gone for 4 run. Healy is ready to step up a gear. Mid off is up and she races down to loft it over her head and that's gone for one more 4. Healy races out and even though it is floated up across her she reaches out and loft over the mid off runs away to the fence for one more 4. Healy goes for the reverse sweep once again and get it over the short third man this time and Anisa Mohammad pull her hamstring while chasing and slumps to the ground the physio is out there more woods for the west indies women's team the empires meanwhile have called for the drinks australia motoring along and largely helped by west indies fielding and bowling which has been rather poor and that's gone what's that problem compound for west indies ramaradag bowls a very high full toss Healy comes down and flat batted over long on for a 73 meter 6 and it's also given no ball so it's 7 no ball runs given to team australia Full toll to the free hit and that's gone for 4 run. Charges down to the flatter one and hit it right over the bowler's head for 4 and moves to 98 in a flash. Lovely hit and Haynes sees a toss of ball slide do and hit it over the mid on for 1 bounce 4. And that's gone. There's a compass in Healy's mind and she knows exactly in which direction she wanted to go. Move across to the offside. Taylor follow her and fire it full outside off. Yet, she executed the sweep through the square leg and gets 4 more run. Successive fours, same reason, get a length ball around off and middle and she whip it flicked over the square leg and moves to 114. Another misfield, another boundary, full ball around off and Healy hack it through the mid wicket 
Dot in runs to a left but let it slip through the legs and that's gone for four more run. That sounded nice. That was placed extremely well. Short ball around the middle and off and Haynes hangs back and pull it through the square leg for one more four. Don't bother running. Length ball outside off and Healy well up it over the mid on who is inside the circle and that's gone for four more run. Stops the presses. West Indies have held on the catch and have managed to pick up a wicket. Short ball. Healy charges down. And looks to go over the mid off get a top edge. Salman runs in and take a good diving catch to Andy Mamut. 216 run opening stand. Alisa Hilly caught by substitute Salman bowled by Connell on 129 run and the first wicket of the Australia women's team gone down. Streaky once again and it's a length ball outside off. Looks to cut it over the backward point, get a thick outside edge, well past the wicket keeper for one more four. Soft, soft dismissal. Full ball outside of it straight to dot in at cover. She take it and just looks away and that's gone for four run. And that is a great shot. After so many catches, she went a begging. Another top knock from Haynes comes to an end. Rashale Haynes caught by dot in, bowled by Handy on 85 run. And another wicket of Australia women's team gone down. Another misfield and length ball this time and got the boundary. Length ball outside of Gardner plays the cut to short third man where Connell make a hash of a simple fielding chance. Feathered behind West Indies managing to get regular wickets now. Remember the track look good for more runs. This is on a length and outside of. Gardner play a half hearted push and only manages a nick. Australia have lost 37 for 3 in the last 5 overs. Ashley Gardner caught by Campbell, bowled by Handy on 12 run. Short and wide outside of and Lenning leans back and uppercut it over the backward point for 4 run. Good use of the feet, tossed up around off and Mooney comes down the track and hit it over the mid off who is inside the circle. It doesn't matter to Mooney, charges down again and hit it over the extra cover, beats long off to her right. And Mooney is just toying with Taylor now, sees the shorter end from Taylor, goes deep in the crease and scoops the pull through the backward square leg for one more 4 and that is amazing batting from the Australia women's team and phenomenal performance from the Australia women's team and that the match has been restricted to 45 overs per side due to the rain and that is the end of the inning of the Australia women's team and they have posted a total of 305 runs with a loss of 3 wicket wasn't a flat wicket by any means but that was a tennis ball wicket early on and 300 is a pretty good score it's the first semi-final West Indies need a humongous 306 of 270 balls to knock out and made the final seems improbable but do West Indies have it to them to spring a surprise and let's find out in the second inning and the start of the inning of the West Indies women's team until then the score of the Australia women's team is 305 run at the end of 45 over with the loss of 3 wicket and the West Indies women's team will need 306 run to advance to the final of the ICC women's world cup 2022. And here's the start of the chase of the West Indies women's team of 306 in the first semi-final against the Australia women's team. And here comes the first boundary. This is what the doctor ordered. West Indies began the chase with a boundary over pitch outside off and dotted moves across and thrashed it through the covers for 4 run. 4 more. Full and on the pads, almost a low full toss. Dot and clip it through the backward square leg to collect a second boundary. And here comes the first wicket. Screamer. Rashada Williams caught by Mooney. Bold basket on a duck. Timed it to perfection, full and on the pads and dot in flick it over the backward square leg for one bounce four. Dot in is loving the extra pace Brown provided. Gorgeous. Pristinely timed push from the Matthews over pitches outside off and she drive it through the mid off. Jonathan was squarer and it raced away for four run. Dot in chase in the width and close and that's gone for four run. She goes for the cut, slice it over the backward point to end the power play on high, full and outside off. Dot in reaches out to this and hit it over the extra cover for 4 run. She's growing in confidence and it's good to see. And here comes the wicket, the big wicket, that's the wicket Australia would have been wanted. Dot in holds out, turns out to be a very soft dismissal. Renata Dot in caught by Sathar Land, bowled by Magra on 34 run. Very well timed, full on the middle and leg and Matthew uses her wrist to turn it through the mid wicket and gone for 4. Another wicket and a big wicket this time. It's a huge wicket, Australia tightened this crew further. Haley Matthews departs, caught by King, bowled by Jonathan on 34 run and at the end of 25 over the score of the West Indies women's team is 102 run with the loss of 3 wicket. They still need 204 run in 20 overs to win this match. And at the end of 26 over the score of the West Indies women's team is 105 run with the loss of 3 wicket. They still need more than 200 run to win this match.